The first question that we want to ask is that, like, how like how long did it take for all of you to create it, the this whole piece, piece, like from the yeah. very beginning to this, for example? <laughs> okay, choreographer, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, three weeks. Three weeks. No, it's not true. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, maybe more. Well, it's with some days that is uh, uh, shorter, some days longer. Mm -hmm. But let's say. Three weeks of hard, like every day. Really, like count, every day. Really three yeah, weeks. if you count, like yeah. If, uh, mm -hmm. but if it's more around, maybe for me more with the musician. Mm -hmm. Still, I'm not ha very happy, but it's from the also this very. It's not very good sound system. Mm -hmm. But when he's playing, I think it's better. <coughs> but, uh, we worked a lot. The best thing it would have been is, like everybody is together. Like the musician is here for these three weeks as a sound, like <coughs> and the lights is here. But mm -hmm. it's, in, it's very, very difficult to find these conditions. It's enormous amount of money mm -hmm. yeah. to engage. But I think for the choreographer, like if to count really, really from the beginning, when you know the person starts to think and mm -hmm. to develop the concept, it, you know, to count it, it's much uh, longer time, you know. Yeah. But for the rehearsal periods, yeah. So, so it was just one piece from the whole performance, right? Yes. Yeah, one part. Yeah. yeah. So, how long the performance will take? I think it's fifty minutes. Fifty minutes. And what about this piece more? Like, what is the what is the name of this Ghost? piece? Goes to what? <laughs> Could you just explain just what's what happening? It's interesting. It's just the name that we gave for this part. Mm -hmm. It's a working name. It's like let's start by the ghost. Okay. It's because uh, this every movement is like uh, your body saw a ghost. If you like walk, walk, and suddenly it's like ooh, ooh mm -hmm. or something. It's like musicals also, like this, he's doing this, uh, like an input on the guitar, and it's like, and then it's like, or something. So it's like you start, and the, it's, uh, it's like, the walking is like um, order. Mm -hmm. Let's say they start by walking together, and uh, they try, they are finding the same rhythm and the sound of the feet, and it's like, and then something happens, accident, accident, accident and uh, there's more accidents. And then they have to really listen to each other because it's like a chaos theory of scientific theory that uh, more there is uh, disturbance and um, chaos in the system, more the little parts of the system has to listen to the other. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful expression of anarchy, like uh, um, that when there is anarchy or disorder, people molecules have to listen to this, uh, each other mm -hmm. more. So it's, for me, it was beautiful comparison. But okay. the, all, the name of all the pieces is mm -hmm. Ordre, Disordre, Disordre. Something about yeah. chaos. Something about like, disorder. Chaotic. It was very chaotic. Yeah, yeah, it's about the chaos theory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you expressed it so well. Like, I think most of the people here understood what you meant by it. It was, it felt like you could feel the disorder. You could feel that at the beginning, everyone was okay. Everything was walking the dog together, but and then that was scary at some moment. Yeah, some things were <laughs> at some like, point that was scary. It felt anxiety, but like at the beginning, maybe. But then the rhythm goes on mm. and it changes. So it was very yeah. Thank you very much. It was awesome to see yeah, that. Another question about this piece, like for like from your perspective as choreographer, did they do a lot of mistakes? <laughs> <laughs> right now, <laughs> <laughs> well, the mistakes here doesn't count. There's no mistakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe the b mistake would be not to listen to each other and uh, be close or think mm -hmm. that you made a mistake. This is a mistake. Yeah, there's no mistakes. This is why the communication is the communication between all the system. So if you make a mistake, well, ah, mistake maybe if you just go into other person without you. Yeah. Yeah. But mm -hmm. this is. But a slight bump is not such a mistake. But they never did it. As mm. far as far as they don't have the injuries, you know. Right. So. Oh. Right. The injuries is from the first part. Mm -hmm. This is a bit more abstract part. The first part is mosh pit. It's like when they stand, they stand, and then odors, which is uh, it's a noise uh, musician. He is only playing guitar from all, for all the piece and the and the effects. So he is starting to do <laughs> and then they just go into each other like in a metal concert you know uh, mm. death wall oh yeah <laughs> who doesn't know this is Anya um, she is very famous and known well in Lithuania and in other countries too oh yes <laughs> um, so we've read your biography a little bit 
and that's impressive a lot as you started in different countries and then you implemented the work here and trying to do some projects and living by a vision that you have and we have maybe some uh, questions just about how you started and then we could talk with your dancers how mm -hmm. they started too and how their the dancing actually impacts their lives and all the other stuff so yeah um firstly even like uh, before your university years how, like how did you come up with the idea to like to connect your life with dancing like was it spontaneous or you no, liked it? It's very kind of stereotypical uh, story, you know, when the old girls usually they want to be ballet dancers mm. so uh -huh. when they're yeah. little. No, so that was, not, not, I'm not so original in that way, you know, so that mm. uh, I was like, okay, that's kind of um, I, what I really like, you know, I even, you know, I was dancing at home and then my mom took me to the dance classes, to the dance, children dance company and that's kind of, I started, you know, that and I was never uh, questioning myself if I want to try something else because like I see now with my kids, oh, I want to try this and then I want to try this. I was really focused, like I, mm -hmm. nothing else exists for me. So that was kind of uh, really, um, I fo you know, like I really felt that it's my kind of language. And mm -hmm. parents were like, were they supporting you? Yeah, you were, yeah sure. So sure, they sure. didn't think that you were obnoxious kid who was dancing everywhere. No, no, my family is like kind of uh, quite artistic, you know. Oh, so they were, it would be kind of a surprise, you know, if I would became a medicine student <laughs> or yeah. like a lawyer. Even I was the quite good at school, you know. But uh, mm -hmm. that was kind of very natural, you know, that I was in uh, in arts. But you know, just like um, even in LCC. We have a lot of people who would like to do art or to impress themselves and make it as their life profession or something. But parents mostly saying that it's not possible. Like, you will not have money. That's not a good job. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do if they're not going to accept you or something? So it's very cool if you're living in a family that accepts um, art is, yeah, as a work, mm -hmm. yeah. But not people, like not all the people understand that. And this question to the dancers too, because they're mostly young, so like, not our age. <laughs> but, yeah, we're kiddos. But anyway, we're actually considered pretty old already. Right? Yeah. As a dancers, as a dancers. No. Some of us. No. So could you tell if you have any like, you know, someone doubting your decision or? Have you ever dubbed your decision about dancing all your life or making it as profession? No, never. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <You> every day. <laughs> Questioning? I'm questioning my profession. Probably I will change. You'll see. In general, I came to dance uh, not from architecture. I, I was dancing all my life, but I had another education. Uh, it was like architecture. And then I'm open also to change my mind, not my mind, but to change profession again. Yeah. Hopefully it will happen. Um, but it's all, it, but for me, it connected to my personal um, feeling of fulfillment. Mm. Feeling that uh, this, in this profession, I can give my best. And then I also feel good because I'm doing my best job for others, and others are more happy, and I'm more happy with other people. Are happy. Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. Have you ever just like felt like like not a good money or something like that? Or you never thought about money in this case? It's always bad money. <laughs> <laughs> but this is, you know, like uh, that's... I think you know about You know about that, sure. you know, that you are ready. Like that, of course, it's not the profession. If you want to earn a lot of money, that's not the way. You mm -hmm. know, it's really... Uh, like, of course, there are artists that... Uh, who are very rich, we know, like from the history also nowadays, but it's like, you know, you are ready for yeah. that. You are not expecting, like even, you know, like if you, you, you kind of plan your life, this is, you know, okay, this is amount that I will just, I need money to survive. That's kind of maybe the mm -hmm. main thing, you know. It's so not it's about always a choice. So like if you're making a choice to make it your life, you will be with this choice, yeah, right? Yeah, but, but definitely, like if you, you know, like you, you, you will never, mm -hmm. kind of, Okay, it's maybe bad to say, maybe it's possible. No, like you but know. it's a reality, you know, it's no. like, yeah, you just read, you are ready. So basically yeah. all of the dancers decided to do what they love to do and not mm. to look for profit, yeah. right? Yeah, that's important. Cool. Mm. It's a decision to be poor. Yeah, most of us are the students here and maybe you could tell us about 
your university experience? Because mm -hmm. we know you were studying in university too, and, maybe, and you said you too were studying in university. So maybe you tell how you were, um, like about those years of your life, mm -hmm. where you, uh, yeah, just maybe interesting yeah. stories. <laughs> I studied already like many years ago. So. <laughs> um, so at that time, you know, it was um, mm, rather kind of difficult times, you know, because it was after the independence and uh, um, there were not so many choices to study dance, mm -hmm. you know, and in the beginning even I thought because the studies are not in such a level that I would like to be in, you know, so that I, I thought, okay, maybe I will go for like some other studies you know maybe a language mm -hmm. or like uh, I, ha I had uh, different things you know that but maybe but and I ended up anyway here I'm not so happy with the level of the uh, studies I've got so this is why I went to study in Rotterdam mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that was really like this like I, I really felt if I want to continue as a professional I, I really have to kind mm -hmm. of go into a different level Mm -hmm. So that was, um, and of course, then my completely different world opened up for me. Mm -hmm. And it, the, the, I think the, the, these were years that uh, it's like the first students started to go abroad to study. Mm -hmm. I actually, I was connected very much with LCC, you know, during all my studies, you know, like I was doing a lot of choreographies. I was teaching dance uh, for students, oh, you know, really? cool. and also I even had the course for teachers, for professors. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we were dancing once per week, you know, in the evenings. I were you know. dancing? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't at LCC at that time. Yeah, uh -huh. she was still a student, no? In, <gasps> in, in, but it's because, like, yeah, a lot of students in LCC, again, like, we're, like, a lot of talented students, but with, like, in LCC, we don't have these artsy programs. We have business and relations, yeah. mostly this. And, like, for example, for example, like, that girl can sing very beautifully, and then another girl can sing very beautifully. She, so, yeah, and, like, you see, like, a lot of students, try, like, we imagine what is it to study in art school? So what was your routine in like, Rotterdam, for example? Yeah. Like eight hours of dancing. <laughs> a day? But a you day. had like your major or it was just... No, it was a major. It so was major. which one was? Uh, uh, choreography. choreography and uh, dance. So it's like for everybody who studied dance, you know, like mm -hmm. it's uh, six, eight hours of uh, dance classes. Some theory, of course, you have to yeah. uh, still go, you know, into kind of theory classes. Uh, so that's kind of a routine, mm, painful body. Mm. <laughs> I was studying in France, so I was just sitting in front of a computer and talking about dance. Mm. This is the France dance, dance education. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Don't go to France. Did you get a lot of practice? Uh, no, not like maybe one hour per day. Really? <laughs> no, for some time, of course, because there's like a lot of conceptual stuff going on, and you mm. more like you creating something in your head, so you spend two months on do like research researching on something like mm. on I don't know on on Miss World Contest or on <laughs> cyberpunk culture or something you just like go into well we were it was a different kind of studies for example yeah. just to say that yeah it's also it's not also it really depends from the <laughs> school you know and from the country you yeah. are in you know so the, some some of the schools are very like kind of we call it like technical, you mm -hmm. know, like mm -hmm. you do a lot of dance technique classes, you know, so. But it's really like, for me, the most interesting stuff was uh, to work on different projects, like with the composers, with mm -hmm. cinematographers, with uh, different artists, you know, like or f to make a f movie, you know, so mm -hmm. that was really kind of the most. Uh, so it's more about creating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. But you were actually dancing too, like a dancer in some... Um... Uh, yeah, I, I, w I was obliged to do that. I mm. was in the choreography department, of course, I didn't have so much uh, classes as like dancers do, but mm -hmm. uh, still, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Can you uh, um, tell us more about this, your first project that you were after the university? It's called Fish Pieces, this eye? Fish... I fish eye. Fish eye, yes. Uh, it's uh, an association, uh, like artist group, of, uh, and it started actually, it was um, created by the visual artists, you know, first, mm -hmm. first of all. And at that time, I was still in uh, Holland, you know, and they started to do a lot of different exhibitions, events, happenings, performances. Oh. And I came back to Klaipeda, which was quite kind of dramatic choice. Uh, uh, to do and um, 
uh, yeah, and this is I just joined the group and uh, we started a festival and still uh, the festival is going on, Platforma, if you've mm-hmm. heard, I don't know, mm-hmm. so yeah. it's, uh, uh, of course, these, uh, all, all the other guys, I think, are somewhere around the world, you know, and uh, because I was very active in dance, so we ended up from the visual ar- art projects, we ended up doing only dance projects, so we said, okay, we need the, to establish the dance mm-hmm. company, you know, like it's not kind of enough to have the, just an association, so. Mm-hmm. So this um, performance that will be on Friday, it was choreographed by you, uh-huh, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So can you tell us about the name and the idea, how you got into, and then maybe how you um, explain that to your dancers? Because I know sometimes, I've been dancing too, I've been studying in a choreography academy in Ukraine too. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to express the idea or whatever, like in full capacity as you can. Because if, especially in this type of dance, when they need to feel the same that you feel, so they can express that. So mm. can you explain how you are like, coming with the ideas, how you're thinking about them, and then showing up? Sometimes. We can start by uh, doing uh, just simple stuff, and we will see how how something is uh, um, like appearing from that. Mm. But I also I like working from the ideas, but at the same time I think it's really dangerous because sometimes your idea is just it doesn't get there. Yeah, it's something wrong with the uh, something is wrong, and so uh, I do have half. The idea has to be there, like of mm-hmm. chaos, disorder, going from order to, uh, and okay. But sometimes what I want to do doesn't work, mm-hmm. and uh, this is maybe you what you are asking for. But I'm very simple. I'm just doing what mm-hmm. I see. Then. So it's basically not only your choreography, but also all the yes, dancers. Yeah, yeah. Really. Yeah. Yes. But also, like I'm questioning if, uh, as you said, you know, like. Uh, if the dancers have to feel the same as what you are feeling, maybe it's not always kind of you don't try to make them uh, feel the same. Yeah, but how know? to like present the idea at first, how to introduce it? Because like by the name, uh, what it was the name is long one. Yeah, yeah. Or order. 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 yeah. So like what it, so you're coming up to the dancers and saying, I have this idea about such things. Mm-hmm. And how my you're starting? Way, like, let's try uh, this and uh, this exercise, like mm-hmm. this task more. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. like a task where they have to fulfill something which is half precise, mm-hmm. half written, but half they have to put something in of them. Mm-hmm. And from there, I usually film and I watch it through and I think about it. And I say, let's keep this part, let's do this slower. Mm-hmm. This and yeah. then I te- talk also about the idea so that it doesn't get very formal. But mm-hmm. I don't come and say, you know what I thought? Mm-hmm. Is that, uh, but sometimes also yeah. a bit like this, yeah. just not that it doesn't uh, become really like. Mm-hmm. But it's more like, let's do this. And, uh, and then let's do something like that, like there. Mm-hmm. Like, let's process uh, creating. Here, yeah. start to do something like, okay. And then I say, and I say, oh, okay, no, you do this. Oh, this is fine. This is now okay. Mm-hmm. But it's very different processes, I think, with uh, every person, Everybody, you know, yeah. and uh, yeah, and it's kind of the trip. It's a, pro- you know, really the process. Mm-hmm. You know, like it's, I also don't believe that you can. Okay, this is the first meeting, and we say, okay, this is idea about uh, Sleeping Beauty. And mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. You know, uh, but uh, it's yeah, maybe uh, I would add that there are uh, such people who really come and they say what you want, yeah, yeah, what yeah, they yeah. want. Yeah. Uh, and with no exception, and then mm-hmm. somehow you are trying to, to, to go yeah. there and to find mm-hmm. it. It really depends from... And, and of course, yeah. uh, since mm-hmm. it's a communication in any way, like if you don't feel it, if you don't find it, then you communicate and you mm-hmm. find another way how to get it. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. It's very it. much. It's very much about the connection and the communication. You know, mm-hmm. like it's very. Diffi- it's not a book that you are writing alone and kind of trying to. But it's really like. And sometimes the you know like you have an idea and it can be taken somewhere else completely you know because of the people you are surrounded or you are working mm-hmm. with. That's interesting because like usually because like I'm dancer too kinda dancer mm-hmm. figure skater, and like usually a choreographer used to used to tell me what to do, and, like there was no like a lot of space to improvise mm-hmm. like I was told what to do and like that is very interesting concept maybe the, like, this is like in this style of the dance. When you when you like come up with the idea all together and you improvising because like 
the movements here are not strict, like, like very you're, different you're like from one, what right? usually we see mm -hmm. as the dance so because mm -hmm. like we were dancing here at the, on this stage actually in october in november and we were doing contemporary dance and it's totally different you like like totally different it's like um what is interesting like for for example from your perspective so you've been dancing and you've been dancing too right now you work as choreographers so how this transition happened and like what what is like what was the difficulties when you became choreographer and you started working with the dancers when you're not a dancer i didn't have a dancer career mm -hmm. like it was my choice from really really beginning that uh, somehow i don't know like i knew that uh, i i first of all like there are so much more beautiful dancers than me so i was like why should i <laughs> you know like it's really like i you know especially when i went to like I knew it, you know, that it's like I want to be on this side of stage, you know, mm -hmm. like it's it's more and you know, like I was like, okay, I just want to give the possibilities to really good dancers to be on stage. It's not about uh, so I didn't have so much a transition, you know. Sometimes it's happening that I'm now on stage, you know, that's maybe it's interesting. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's more kind of an opposite. So way, you still you perform? Know? I still sometimes perform, okay. you know, and so of course it's uh, you know like. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's an interesting process how to, but uh, yeah, I don't know, Wilma, you you are more kind of being on stage. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, it's very na somehow natural because you want to do something yourself and then you start doing and then you see that maybe uh, you don't need yourself to be on stage. Mm -hmm. That's how it gets there. I don't know. I also, as a dancer, I didn't have nobody to tell me nothing. Mm -hmm. So I worked only for people for whom I had to create something. So mm -hmm. that's why it was mm -hmm. very also natural. I think it's very important, and I, what I see, like especially in the contemporary dance now, you know, like I, I, I know you, you will, you can say then, but I, I think f being a dancer now, it's not enough that if you are in the company or if, if you are working with somebody who tells you what to do, you know, people, they want to be co-creators of the work, you know, like, of course, maybe somebody comes with the, as a kind of choreographer comes with the idea, but still, you know, like, I think you, all of, all of us, like, we want to be, you know, you, we want to, to, to create together, you know. It's, one it's, tricky uh, point is though it that... It depends, but... Uh, it's the, you don't write, the choreographers don't write that the dancers are co-creators. This is, I think, mm -hmm. it's a really big problem. It's like how much of choreography did the dancers, a lot, mm. than how you write yourself. It's a concept or, I think maybe concept I would write, or I don't know, because choreography is strange. If it's moving in the space, then they did all of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most of the time. the time. Yeah, most, like usually, like uh, I don't create like f dance phrases, you know, anymore. You know, I used to do that, but it's, uh, I don't know, it's much. I would a bit disagree, <laughs> you know, because, yeah, we create some movement, and but still you are framing it, you know, so you yeah. don't take the raw mat material which we bring, you frame, so yeah. with your directions we are reshaping it, and then you're also putting it all together, so you are choreographing this, the space, mm -hmm. yeah, and what is happening in the space, so it's not uh, that you throw us in yes, and no. do whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. It's and more it's like a theater director. You know, like it, it frames the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So maybe not part. Mm -hmm. So in that sense. Or a framer. Important <laughs> with this is that movement is not choreography. Yeah, yeah. also. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's movement. It's something which is completely, I mean, it's part of, but it's not it. Like <laughs> choreography or choreographing is something completely different than just putting movement. Then it becomes what we, the amateur world where you get learned steps and you perform that. Mm -hmm. Basically, there are a lot of definitions for choreography mm -hmm. in, uh, in dance uh, studies, mm -hmm. starting from uh, Rudolf Laban, you know, mm -hmm. and from, uh, yeah. uh, from very long ago. And uh, people, they frame it a bit differently. Some say that it's specifically body moving in the space. Others say that it's just <coughs> movement in the space, and then there's discussion about the even if you place just object which uh, can move, it's so it's a choreography. choreography. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. And even if you, for example, hang something and there is a wind which is moving, it mm -hmm. also can be considered as choreography. So I mean, there is very broad 
understanding of that mm -hmm. and it depends what kind of yeah. That's very interesting. Yeah. yeah. What to say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think you still can find also in the contemporary dance world uh, a lot of people who mm -hmm. did movement. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so but it's not only that because mm -hmm. I worked a lot with these kind of people, and unless it's like a repertory piece from like 30 years ago, <laughs> <laughs> it's not that they really teach you step by step yeah. what to do. Of course, there are parts of it, but then also. Most of them still still gives you tasks, or they kind of give you something and then destroy it, yeah. like mm -hmm. or like reshape it, let's mm -hmm. say, or interpret it. Or interpret yeah. like mm -hmm. you, it's always then your interpretation with the guidance of the choreographer, or it's never really like okay, these are the steps. That's our choreography. Like it never really happens like that, even with the choreographers that give you movement. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, yeah, it's across. still kind of you are part of it and like somehow you have to make everything your own so in this piece of ghost piece uh some of the dancers had solos like you were like mm -hmm. were you creating it by your like yourself, like yourself? so you were kind of improvising when you're like hey let's do chaos and you were improvising mm -hmm. Not really like this. it's like a task that you uh, it's for example the beginning of the solos is on bolero mm -hmm. so uh, they had to create it uh, just by repeating it so that okay. the first idea of the new movement comes, that there's no um, uh, maybe too much thinking and uh, composition, but there's like first... First what? First, comes to mind, yes, you take yes. it. And so they had to... Oh, it's fucked up. So <laughs> Bolero, it's the two different phrases, musical phrases, very mm -hmm. musical. Na, 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 ta, da. And the second is a bit different, <laughs> but, and they repeat each other. One after the other uh, 16 times, I think. Oh my god, let me see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. 16 times. So in 16 times, they had to create phrase A and B mm -hmm. by just doing it 16 times. Yeah, I see. That's without that's without nice. writing it. Mm -hmm. that's and there was. I have to remember at the time, maybe at, at 8 it was this movement, mm -hmm. and at uh, uh, 5 it was this. And this is what you remember for the first uh, one t first time. Yeah. So there were sequences they were repeating. Mm -hmm. So yes. even when in solo, when it was girl with the pink pants, she had the same sequence she was repeating twice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, this is why it's like mm -hmm. the incessant. It's non-stopping. Uh, uh, trans. It's going somewhere. Transition. She's mm -hmm. repeating, but then it's getting faster and faster, and she has to go, 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 and then it's like transition to. A lot of repetition. So, so in the end, like when they're stopping, like cause some people were going out of the stage. Mm -hmm. Does it mean they're like breaking out from the, like sequence, um, you know, system? Because people were going, some some of the people were going in the same mm -hmm. direction all the time. Mm -hmm. So it means like, you know, it's like atoms in the mm -hmm. system. So when they're going out of the stage, does it mean they're breaking out, or not, or like what was the idea well, about they that? They can be this. They can <laughs> break out. Oh yeah. Okay. It can be this. So um, now let's talk about your project that you did. So like we we looked up on the website, and you were do, uh, what really like we like we were surprised about this like that you were show in one of the performance you're sh kind of showing the history of Nida mm -hmm. through choreography mm -hmm. and like that's so interesting like how did you come up with this idea and like what is this? <laughs> it's already the third project like that. Uh, yeah, but the history. Uh, yeah, with the history, you know, like because um, it started, uh, you know, like five years ago. That um, uh, it started actually from the feeling that I'm living in the city, uh, that I want to kind of give something for this place mm -hmm. and kind of also to uh, make some connection with the place that I even I was born here. You know, like I mm -hmm. had kind of some troubles with this uh, town, but. Uh, and I kind of came, uh, another, another thought was, okay, like, because we have a lot of problems with the uh, spaces where to perform, you know, it was very practical kind of thing, you know, okay, let's do something in the street, you know, like what, what we can do that also attract more audience, you know, and how to connect with the history of the town and uh, what can we kind of do that people don't have to come kind of in the theater, but you are coming to them, mm. these kind of uh, thoughts, you know. And then I met one archaeologist, and she just she was doing her um, thesis on uh, uh, not existing churches, you know. So and I made this uh, project, you know, kind of the tour in Klaipeda. 
it was yeah five years ago I think you know so it was the kind of traveling performance and mm -hmm. then uh, last summer uh, we were actually asked to do that in Nida also to connect uh, because it's kind of the quite um, quite open uh, thing you know that you kind of connect history, contemporary dance, mm -hmm. music, sounds, you know, and uh, a beautiful nature also, and uh, kind of people, they, they feel kind of very free to, to be in this performance, you know, they don't have to do anything very special not to come to the theater and mm -hmm. you just, you know, yeah. because also it's very attractive to, you know, people are, you know, like interested in the history and they want to to know and it's kind of you are giving this in a very different very creative way mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so some of maybe all the dancers being in this project mm -hmm. here yeah so you are like working in this uh and theater uh, -huh. uh and have you like is this group dance all together every time or you're changing the groups like with different dancers for each performance or how it works you here? mean in uh, in, uh, in on dunes yeah in Nida. yes like six at a time? Six at a time, yeah. So, and we are eight mm -hmm. dancers, so... We rotate. Ro okay. Rotate, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, once, um, when I just arrived to Klaipeda, when I just moved here, there's this church, Martin Luther Church. Uh -huh. I think there was a performance, I don't know, maybe it was Yogur who was dancing, well, I'm not sure. Huh? Was 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 yeah, think, yeah. Like, people were dancing in black, and like at the end, the audience was like kind of... Per, not perform it was the, was the part of the performance and there was Coakley? Ah? Coakley, I think. it's about the in that uh, kind of square yeah mm -hmm. yeah 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 because yeah. mm -hmm. yeah, like we went there and like we were like okay something interesting is going is uh -huh. going to happen and then at the end we were like we were asked to go somewhere yeah. and we we're like do we need to dance <laughs> so that was very interesting mm -hmm. so like why do you why do you think it's important to especially in performances like that to connect audience like to to like to, for the audience to be involved in the performance. Um, like f I think the main thing is uh, with the dance performance is to be connected with the audience. Yes, mm -hmm. you know so that's kind of the major I think thing. You know, like yeah, but it was like respond like answer and response. Yeah. So yeah, this but was not kind of uh, an idea in that particular particular mm -hmm. um, project. You know, it was kind of inviting to the. Because it, wa it, it was an installation, mm -hmm. that we made an installation, kind of the um, fireplace, like, because it was based on the stories of uh, Cleitad also, mm -hmm. and about the tiles that you can find from the old fireplaces. You mm -hmm. know? So mm -hmm. actually we built it kind of the imaginary mm -hmm. uh, fireplace there, where we invited people to be in that place. Yeah. Kind of. So in that particular uh, project was like that, mm -hmm. you know, that we invited in our Home, oh. let's say, yeah. But it really depends, you know. Like in this p performance, you know, the audience is also sitting quite close, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, kind of surrounding the. It's not uh, also the traditional set uh, yeah. of the performance. It's really it depends from project to project, you know mm -hmm. how. Oh, but it's nice that you saw that. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that was interesting because like. Like like dancers were very, were very close to yeah, us yeah. and they were looking right at your eyes and we like. Mm. Uh -huh. It was just first year of Gintare being here. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. okay. So, so how did that to the dancers? My big question: How you uh, were introduced to this theater to uh, Shokyo? Mm -hmm. I don't know Lithuanian. Shiko, 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 Shiko. Yes. Uh -huh. So how you uh, you know get to know this and start to dance here? <laughs> we can kind of answer together, I guess, no? I think Jenna is also kind of part of this. We worked in another company before, in Aura uh, oh, Dance mm -hmm. Theater from Kaunas. And we kind of wanted to leave. And Kintai and me had an idea to choreograph a duet, so we came to Agnia to pitch like the proposal. Mm -hmm. And she was interested, and then she tried to yeah <laughs> and, and we were very happy with that so like that was two and a half years ago now mm -hmm. yeah. it was nice. very like it we, at that time we didn't have like really full-time company you know mm -hmm. it was a project based like because we didn't have uh, finances but when these guys arrived i was like okay that's a really a sign you know like that mm -hmm. we have to kind of change the uh, the way we are doing and we have to kind of 
create a group and mm -hmm. this is, yeah. yes and as a group so you've been like you've been here since 10 a.m today right mm -hmm. yeah. so how was it like did you starve for like did you have time to eat because sometimes you know like you see, <laughs> no, you saw, eat. no you see it in, <laughs> you, you see it in the movies and sometimes sometimes it seems like choreographers are very strict and like dancers are dying so yeah. it, like yeah. is that a myth Okay, it's perfect. Like sometimes choreographers are confused and they don't feel the hunger themselves. Mm. And then and they, like, they kind of continue. Mm -hmm. And then at some point you say like, <laughs> you, like, but it's not that they do it on mm -mm. purpose or whatever. Yeah. It's just mostly that they are so into it that mm. they don't. Or the artistic director is booking so many performances <laughs> that the guys are like... <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah. then you stack up in food, like yeah. uh, like small snacks mm. in between. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, no, like we have warm up class in the morning. It's kind of a everyday routine. Yeah. yeah, it's everyday routine. It's either contemporary or ballet, impro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have that. Then we have rehearsals till and five o'clock with an one, hour of lunch yeah. break. And we have a small break after the class to kind of so just about dancing so as you mentioned about fulfillment do you seek fulfillment by dancing but when you are like your body is moving and dancing and you're expressing yourself all the fulfillment is getting from the audience and from the atmosphere at all so is it about yourself dancing and expressing or is it more about the reaction from the audience and the message they're receiving back both. both for me, but mm. yeah. mm. maybe both. Yeah. Yes. Otherwise, mm. we would dance in the shower, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, considering the movements that you do here, like it's not enough space in the shower <laughs> for sure. <laughs> no, but just as a matter of speaking. <laughs> I mean, I. For me, yeah. Yeah, I think for all of us, yeah, because we wouldn't be doing this if we wouldn't like it. Mm -hmm. If it was only for the performances. It's not enough. No. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like you really have to love this, and mm. so I think yeah, it's both. But of course, it's important to perform. And sometimes, as a performer, you don't get to perform enough, and you really feel that also. Like it mm. kind of works on your mood. You need some kind of sharing yeah. with. Mm -hmm. At least for me, it's yeah. something which is important. Mm. But uh, yeah, you. Do, it's both. Mm -hmm. And about this style of the dancing, like, y what is the name of this style? Like, it's not contempt, right? It's, it's something. Contemporary. Yes, it's it contemporary. is. But, but it's impro, more. No. No. It's contemporary, it's contemporary dance. Yeah. Really. Okay. <laughs> it's like very broad. Uh, like, of course, we are. Uh, like, I think, like all people, they always try to kind of find the definitions of yeah. everything, you know. Talk but the uh, contemporary dance is very wide, you know. Like, mm -hmm. it's really sometimes, you know, like if you see the performance without even moving movement, you know, it's also contemporary dance, you know. So, yeah. it's really um, like from very small minimal movement mm -hmm. to it can be the choreographed pieces I can mm -hmm. guess what you're mm -hmm. having in mind you know but yeah, yeah. so as I know contemporary is about how you feel like it's when you feel the body and you're actually trying to um, like you feel till the end and you need to be like to, you need to have power over your body and you need to feel strong to do so because sometimes like some of the movements requires like a flexibility mm -hmm. or just like it requires a, hep like a power to do some things. So tell, if you're dancing every day for like a huge amount of hours, maybe you can tell us like, do you have, do you face a lot of, um, you know, not, not breaking stuff, but like, do you have any injuries, uh, injuries mm -hmm. like working injuries or I know like it's always sore, the body is sore, but maybe you're see seeing some Specific injuries. <laughs> yeah, we, we are we're like all a bit broken. A broken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not broken out of dance. No. <laughs> I guess because all this, but it's not because of dancers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. But yeah, 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 it's like it's very often that mm -hmm. dancers are injured or they have the like surgeries. Any sports, any sports person, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyone yeah. that does sports mm -hmm. professionally yeah. has a good amount of. Injuries, mm. because that's what you do. You put pressure on your body yeah. every day. It's kind of be goes beyond this kind of healthy, uh, yeah. mov moving uh, kind of lifestyle. You know, in a way, it's not. Mm -hmm. uh, 
thank God that nowadays there's so much studies done and we're very aware of what the body mm -hmm. yeah. can and cannot do and how you should like work with your body in a healthy way. Mm -hmm. Although that doesn't really change the fact that it's still not really good for mm -hmm. yeah. like the body itself. Mm -hmm. like. Yeah. And about the performances and the like your projects, like what were like the, did you have some any funny moments during the performance or like there's something like you're performing and in the middle of the performance you're like oh my god what are we gonna do? We were what are some stations? Yesterday, no people falling on stage and stuff. Yeah, yeah, there are so many <laughs> people funny. from the audience. No, 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 no. <laughs> ah. falling on stage. Oh, they always. <laughs> oh, they don't care. Like, or losing the costume, or all these kind of... Uh, it's not funny at the moment. Yes, <laughs> yes. Losing, where's the front? Or, the, <laughs> or suddenly you are somewhere, or you see your colleague is like doing something and it's like a black, you see the kind of... Like, Hello? <laughs> So what are some so what what are some moments that you guys remember that you like? Oh like my maybe God. a funny story from maybe not uh, the stories. performance, <laughs> but I don't know because you're spending a lot of time together as a group, right? We had these like skirts and they would open and normally they would open like to the front and if you you know I tied them on the wrong way <laughs> and, so to the back. and we had like the dance belts on so like the dance underwear so basically my whole ass was <laughs> Yeah. I think audience see like saw it like, as a part of the performance. Enjoyed it. Like, well, we were with five people wearing the same thing. Oh, <laughs> oh, <my laughs> yeah. Someone else? Another embarrassing stories. From this theater, I want to hear some. Yeah, what? I'm trying I don't to remember. remember. Oh, so you're so perfect in this theater. You're very perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so smooth. Oh, yeah, Everyone also was staring at the black like back curtain. You told the story that she forgot the text uh, of this uh, of Kabidimas and she was just standing in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. But I don't know. Yeah. Like they were. Now I don't remember like exactly what, but it was you know that sometimes the some some thing was broken, you know, and we have to kind of uh, ah that <laughs> yeah <laughs> during the, that the music stopped, you know, because our colleague put oh the music my God. played, oh you my know, God. played uh, online, you know, yeah. and suddenly we're dancing and the music repeats and stops and repeats and stops and then I was like, okay, how we continue now the piece, you know? And I see at him and we're doing something, you know, and then. He went to the sound guy, you know, to check, and we were doing something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and again, I was like, but if the music will start from the beginning, what we are going to do? Yeah. But luckily, it started on the, on the same moment. Time. Mm. You know. Would so you repeat the same piece? <laughs> like, the music will start from the beginning? No, so I, I, yeah, you don't know what. <laughs> yeah. Improvisation. Yeah. Or I remember it was, uh, I, but you were not in that piece. The, the beginning, we also, the, the technician didn't start the sound, you know, so, mm. and we were doing something, and I was like, okay, what the fuck <laughs> now, you know? Yeah. And you? A side and conus when the music didn't go, and I was just screaming to the audience for like 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> she was laying under me, and I'm like screaming, and the music is supposed to start. <laughs> <laughs> like, and looking at her, like, I don't know what to do. Like, <laughs> like, like, oh my god! <laughs> It, and it just doesn't start. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like, and it's the beginning of the performance. Oh my god! So Embarrassing. Yeah. Somehow pulled it off. Yeah, it went, I extended don't think they it like that. really a lot. And then we caught up with the with the music. Ooh, but that was. Yeah, no. That was not funny at the moment. No. <laughs> but you were screaming in what language? It wasn't English. It wasn't Lithuanian, right? It in Flemish. Flemish. Yeah, oh. understood, right? So no, no, he was, that's he, the that, part. the part of the, uh, yeah, the yeah, piece. Yeah, I know, I know, but uh, so you can repeat again and again. And ah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 but of course, like, yeah, yeah, of course, but it's always about staying in the performance, uh -huh. like, it's not just about <laughs> screaming, whatever, you know, so, <laughs> of course, I repeat certain things, yeah. but it has to kind of come from a feeling, yeah. so, mm. like, the good thing about that was that I was, 
starting to get more and more angry <laughs> 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 the situation. So my voice was kind of gone in the end of the performance, but like, yeah, it has to, f of yeah. course you could, but it wouldn't project mm. the same way, so you have to find And it also what has to, to evolve do. somehow. So yeah. 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 Something yeah. I remembered one story with Opkabinimas. We have this we one uh, piece for children that always happens, something, you know. <laughs> we were performing and uh, there are four characters, and the last one is wearing kind of the <laughs> round I costume, like the mm. kind uh -huh. of, you know, Huge the one. big costume, yeah. like you know. And you know, usually it's like it was. It used to hang, you know, at, in the dress room, you know. Mm. And we started already to dance. The two, like uh, two people, were already on stage, you know. <laughs> and then the third is coming, and he just like passing, and he was like. Don't get surprised, you know. Uh, oh, okay. and, we're like, and suddenly we see Inga, the small girl, running in the kind of suit, just like a jumpsuit, like a jumpsuit, you know, oh. like in the green color. Oh. <laughs> and we're like yellow, and like it's complete. Like you see, it's like. <laughs> but it was like, and she was running. I was like, but where is the costume? And actually, you know, in that big costume, you don't see her arms. Mm. So. In this jumpsuit, he kind of <laughs> plays like this. Yeah. Yeah. It was, I was like, what the fuck? They just didn't find that costume, you know? Oh my god. Because they were so relaxed that it's just hanging, and usually she would put it when we are on stage, you know, because it's like 20 minutes to wait, yeah. you know, like she wouldn't kind of wear it in advance, you know, like before. Mm -hmm. So that was really like the ridiculous, like, oh god, you know. Ah, another funny story. Oh, now it comes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were performing again with the same piece, you know, that uh, we were performing in Israel. And uh, on the first day, it was the festival was outside, you know, and in Israel it's quite sunny and uh, hot. Mm -hmm. So we had shoes. Uh, but we decided, you know, like we checked the dance floor and it was okay to dance uh, barefoot. You know? yeah. so, and we said, okay, let's do that, you know. So we did on the first day three performances, everything was okay. Then on the second day, we just, you know, like we didn't check before the dance floor. Uh, but we said, yeah. okay, because of yesterday it was good, you know, we went. And I, 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 wa I was starting the piece and I went on the floor I'm like shit I cannot just even <laughs> oh, stand you know so and it's so hot like on oh the pen you know like really mm. and there were some like shades on the uh, like so we were running you know? Oh <laughs> <my God. laughs> you know like and I was in that moment like should I stop the performance and should we put the shoes on you know like it was really like so we got um, uh, burns, uh, like useless. Uh, oh, 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 oh my god! You know, like after, so all our colleagues, you know, from the oh. festival, they're putting the aloe vera, you know, on the, mm. you know, like so, oh. and we had to dance later on. <laughs> it was really like something. But like, I know yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Suffering artist. Suffering artist. Uh. Yeah. Oh, and food is one of the most important parts of your body if you're a dancer. So yeah. It, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, um, so maybe as a group or maybe as individuals, what can you advise to the people who are feeling the art and they want to do art, they want to create, or in any, like not only dancing, but any art, but they're trying to seek themselves and to find themselves in those or find what they want to do or find a specific way in art or find a vision. What, should, what can you advise us how to find yourself in such a big thing, in such diverse thing as art? Get an art education. Um, I, would I have another suggestion. Just try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, you can sit uh, and plan that. Uh huh. Maybe I will be good uh, with uh, drum and bass. <laughs> um, no. Maybe I will be good with uh, cubism when mm -hmm. I paint. So, like, I mean, you can think a lot, but uh, you need to try and you see. If it works for you, or mm. does it does it draw you, or it does it not? So I mean, of course you can get the art education and then get the whole spectrum, but I think it's uh, unnecessary. Before you know, if you want to become a professional, you should get an education. In my yeah, opinion. but I mean, that's like the next step. Yeah. What do yeah. you want to do? Okay. Like I mean, I I didn't go to study cello. No, no. <laughs> no, I get that. <laughs> but they it's thought it was about <laughs> if they want to be. Yeah, but there yeah, are so. some art forms that it's too late to become a professional artist. Mm. Like, you will not become a cellist if you didn't play from the six years old. Uh, uh, <laughs> layer of drums, 
Uh, yeah, but not that's that. that what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, like there are some forms that you will not. It's mm -hmm. just that that's too late. You know, like or you will not become a. Mm -hmm. a but I'm saying now, if you want to become a really professional artist, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so then then it's sorry too late. You know, or like a ballet dancer, you will not mm -hmm. become a ballet yeah. dancer. There are some some not a good one. Not a good one. Yeah, but not <laughs> a good one. Like if you start, <laughs> it's like um, at. No, I think there are exceptions. Also. There, there are, are of course exceptions, course, but uh, like we are not talking now if to mm -hmm. talk about the kind of. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I would say also, you know, I would say that not to follow this kind of um, um, mainstream of thinking. You know, okay, like I'm in 18, I have to get an education immediately. Mm -hmm. I have to get the house. I have to get, get the car and blah blah. Kind of to fulfill the real life. You know, I think just to give yourself time, maybe to look for something mm -hmm. or to find, mm -hmm. like if you don't find, you know, there are some lucky ones that, uh, okay, like they know already, okay, this is kind of my passion, but it, it can change also, you know, but mm -hmm. uh, but if you don't want and you want to try just to. And uh, US Theater offers classes, text classes, right, if you want to try them? Yes, <laughs> mm -hmm. these guys are brilliant dancers and brilliant uh, teachers also that uh, uh, twice per, Per week, per week uh, we give classes for amateurs. Mm -hmm. So you're giving classes for like kids or for kids teenagers and for and the, young, and like uh, adults. 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 Yes. For the we seniors really, as well. We really need beginners. So like, if you want to come, please. <laughs> <laughs> We're really doing the basics. So like, <laughs> really, really basic. Yeah, there, there is one group that actually they're quite in a good level, you know. Oh, but, cool. Uh, and we have like uh, also. 70 plus group. <laughs> so is it as suggest for maybe someone wants to just join? It's 30 euros for a month, right? Yes. Okay, and twice, twice per, per week, week uh, one and a half hour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, example, thank if, you. Yeah, if some of the of your maybe students from LCC will be so good, how can we get into this group? <laughs> into this group. <laughs> <laughs> is it even possible? An audition, maybe we will do an mm. audition. But do you have like just one group that performs all your like yeah. uh, project, or you were thinking about creating just like one group and then another and another, or <gasps> yes, five groups <laughs> 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 and junior and junior, junior. Uh, no, this is the main uh, group, mm -hmm. and <laughs> <laughs> so and of course it's kind of you know uh, now we have eight uh, kind of. Uh, contracts mm -hmm. for okay. dancers. Like, of course, you know, like, or you need an education, or you need the right. experience, experience or, mm -hmm. or you need, you know, like, it depends really, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, maybe some from the audience have the questions. Didn't you want to ask something? No? Anything? Uh, how many times are going to do this performance? Like this on one? Friday is the first one. And so Friday and then we go to Vilnius uh -huh. and then probably we will perform this piece in the autumn. Because we have a lot of uh, performances, you know, mm -hmm. so kind of we build the repertoire and uh, so we are performing then other pieces, you know, like during the season. Or we go to China for a month. Mm. <laughs> cool. cool. Uh, is everyone involved in Alice? Uh, or <coughs> or Who the fuck is Alice? Who the fuck is Alice? Are you all dancing? Yes. Mm -hmm. Guys, you did the Alice in the Wonderland for Salad mm -hmm. Night, so... Uh, <laughs> you know, this uh, is a very special piece, have, actually. Yeah, very, yeah. very cool. But there's no videos of your performance in the internet. Like, I tried to find some on Facebook group or, like, on YouTube. It's Tra trailers? Like you, you yeah, I found trailers, but yeah. not the whole piece. Yeah, yeah, this no, is where it's not, not open. No, no. Yeah. Usually you don't put the professional food, like... Right. Yeah. Unless it's, like, very old and educational. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because also of the rights and also that, yeah. Mm -hmm. You just don't do it, you know. Like, if you want, like, now when we know kind of each other, you can ask, oh, I really would like to see this piece, you know. Like yeah. You can maybe send the link, but it's not up for the public. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>